Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ash from Malayala. So finally, again, a new podcast with a new person. One of my close friend, Samir, is with me. So uh, he's also from uh, my department, Biotechnology, from NIT Varanjit, twenty twenty three batch. So he got placed into Coco Port as a senior uh, like software developer. So now let us talk to him and get to know more about the interview process, selection criteria, eligibility criteria about Coco Port. But before that, if you are someone who is watching me for the first time. on why you did for the first time do subscribe and also do share this channel to all your friends if you feel that this content is going to help them samir uh, first of all please introduce about yourself to all my audience uh, yeah. hi guys i'm samir uh, finally a biotech student and uh, not more a student i guess i, I just passed out uh, As I said, I got placed in to a company called Go Go as a software developer. I'm currently interning over there as a six month intern. Uh, I also intern a company called Agis Bands Business Intelligence. So, uh, thank you, Samir, for sharing the details. So, like you, uh, let me also add few things about Samir. So, for in in his third year, like during the internship prep, he got an inter internship offer at Agis Bands. It's a big business intelligence unit. So that was kind of uh, business management. Uh, it it was not a business management uh, it uh, you can call it as a analyst or business analyst what that sort of thing yeah so it's something like business analyst so he did he completed his two two months in the at axis bank and rejected the ppo then started the uh, like placement journey again like preparation and all this stuff started applying for sd companies he was totally towards sd from the start it's okay uh, so like what uh, how, how did your friends react Uh, when they were like when you said that you have rejected the PPO offer, yeah. Uh, my friend's reaction when I said that I'm going to reject, or uh, actually I discussed uh, this with one of a uh, few of my friends, even him or uh, uh, even my seniors too. Uh, some of my seniors told me, uh, "You are in biotech department, you may not get some opportunities, uh, so don't take risk uh, because that is not a bad CTC. That's also a decent CTC." Uh, or uh, according to them but what i felt was uh even if i get less cdc i want to say for software road because i want to grow up as a software developer not as a analyst person so like you are is up to mind that i yeah. want to be a software yeah i want to be a software developer during my full time so oh. i just took that uh, internship to not to sit idle and get a corporate just to have some exper- experience okay Like, how did you prepare for the campus placements? Uh, did you follow any specific study materials or strategies? Yeah, for prepa- preparation of my campus placement drive, I would like to say that I started it in my first year itself because I am not fixing it out. But the core preparation, what I mean is setting up your own mind is also a part of the preparation. If you can uh, ag- agree with this statement, then I started a preparation from one one month itself because in one month I explored a lot of things. I explored, uh, like I tried to reach out my seniors and I tried to Google out everything, every buzzword which I found from my seniors or uh, from any placement drive copies which I got. Uh, I used to even Google what is analyst, what is software developer, what is machine learning, what is what is what. I used to gather all the information from uh, every resource which I can get. Uh, later on, uh, I just explored. I dig deep into few of the resources which uh, I felt more interested on. I dig deep into analyst roles, machine learning, and software development. And fortunately, in one or two, in second semester of my B.Tech, we have a course called PSE, Problem Solving Through Computer Programming. Yes. Uh, they teach us C plus plus language, and they teach us how to solve uh, basic computer program, uh, how to solve computer problems using C plus plus language. Okay. Uh, that course made me uh, like made me realize that. Uh, my key interest is like uh, light towards problem solving. So I found myself that I'm I'm very good at problem solving. So that course was my turning point. But uh, unfortunately, lockdown came uh, in between, and yeah, everyone was stuck. Everyone was in dilemma. Even I I was idle for like three months. And after three months, I uh, I started preparing. Uh, the remaining syllabus of the PSU because half the syllabus has been taught by our professors, yeah, and the remaining half was not taught by uh, our professors. So I later on myself, I I prepared the remaining half of the syllabus u- using YouTube tutorials or the resources which are provided by my professors. Okay. It, even though it was not mandatory, 
बट इट पुश मी कि आई फाउंड इट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई फाउंड कि या दिस इज समथिंग विच आई वॉन्ट टू डू सो आई पुश माई सेल्फ टू प्रिपेयर इट फॉर माई सेल्फ दैट हैपन इन वन टू आई लेटर आई हैव फ्रेंड्स इन माई सर्क्यूट मैच सी एस सी सी पिपली दे हैड अ कोर्स लाइक डेटा सक्सेस एंड ऑन मेडल आई लर्न डी एस ए यूजिंग यूट्यूब ट्यूटोरियल्स आई आई वॉन्ट टू से दैट कम माई कंप्लीट प्रिपरेशन नाइंटी परसेंट वर्स फ्रॉम इधर यूट्यूब और पॉपुलर वेबसाइट्स लाइक गीक्स फॉर गीक्स जावा पॉइंट एंड सिमिलर पॉपुलर वेबसाइट्स विच यू और मे ऑफ मे ऑफ द वेपर मेन रू सो ड्यूरिंग टू वन एंड टू टू ऑल वे प्रिपरेशन स्टफ फर्स्ट रेड बिकॉज आई आर रेडी टू answer the question all my preparation stuff was ready okay i next couch the practicing stuff which is very very important for anyone uh, as you an old what do you say pro uh, ki practice makes man perfect and a perfect practice makes man more perfect that's what happens practice 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 until you are master that's what i did in my complete 3 1 and 3 2 and even i do regularly problem solving even till now my streak was like uh, 750 days till so i'm just here to say yesterday i was having a podcast with bharat so who got placed in amazon so i was also t- I, i took this to cop uh, like your name in that particular podcast also regarding the maintaining the streak and consistency so yeah this is the guy so who has maintained all the 750 streak on lead code so i guess only one day you missed right in the middle yeah i i i regret it because i was uh, I, i didn't even thought yeah i missed that day but on this talk of getting players he just missed one day So apart from that, from last seven fifty days, he's cu- continuously solving the questions on late court every day. So that's like really great. Uh, so the consistency and dedication is what uh, you uh, like brought you that offer from being a biotechnology student, so being a non-core student. So how did you handle it as a student from biotechnology? And you know, uh, I like we all know that recession as a, like there's a f- many words like recession, layoffs, all this stuff. And the VR, you have rejected your PPO, and later on got rejected by few companies. Uh, so, how did you feel before getting your offer from Coco Port? Like, how did you cope up with all that? Uh, I would really share this question. Yeah, how did you cope up with the stress? Uh, the thing is, yeah, as he, as you already said, uh, there were a lot of buzzwords to, from start being beginning of our placement, right? The, they were lay off or happening in different companies and there is recession going on lot of the companies uh, were like we are we are hiring uh, we are freezing the hiring process right now we are not in taking any fresh shifts like many famous companies also uh, income from their income for hiring they, this paying the students very they, they just they said it a extra stress and this stress for a student yeah. it created a panic in environment of all of this and also i rejected the ppo i never regret by rejecting a ppo rejecting that ppo uh, but i felt really uh, disappointed when the company stopped visiting my campus and okay uh, i i would take a situation there was a company to x company whose cdc was like uh, really high you can uh, assume like it's like 40 plus for around 40 lakhs uh, i got rejected in the hr uh it has to be yeah yeah it's ca- Almost all the interview uh, podcast till now I did. So I was a PC PC for Cash Free. Like every one of our of them got rejected from Cash Free. But there are two selects. If possible, I'll also uh, make a podcast with them also. So he was also till the last round. Yeah, uh, I got rejected in the like final round. Uh, I was it was a HR round. It was the second HR round, I guess. Uh, which made me feel very disappointed. You, you keep it was. a uh, very good company in a good amount and my dream role ki it is a software developer role that everything was going really good but i got rejected out there uh, you will face a uh, uh, very different scenarios like getting rejected in the last round or even uh, you will face some situations like you have answered all the questions correct you have solved all the problems on in question or questions in the online test within like few minutes but you will get rejected uh Let's make it go. Do that when we do all good bands, bands. Yeah, it will. It can. It can be. Me too. Me too. Right. Exactly. But can be one of the factor. Can be the branch. So that's how you should be ready uh, for the rejections. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the case with all the companies. The few companies do so. So like, yeah. Ah, uh, how it, it may it may be due to several factors. It may be due to your CG. Maybe due to your uh, branch or whatever. Ah, uh, 
you you may get rejected at any point of the interview and you will get disappointed that this uh how to manage it is uh, i won't say that this will motiv- motivate you a lot but just uh what forget what is the uh, what is that it's done start with a new fresh page because uh, thinking about it uh, thinking about the previous company won't help you get hired in this company if you say to the next hr ki i just got rejected in the last last hr role please <laughs> and please if you also reject they also rejected you why that hr rejected you 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 just don't come into this company because just start research and start give you 100% for every point of day even do if you fail you will get a inner satisfaction ki have given me 100% I may do little better. Uh, I will do it in the next company. I'll start fresh. I don't miss out any opportunity to ex- express your uh, like best skills. Uh, give one it wasn't at every point of time. You will get something at there. Okay. Your hard work never goes in vain. Okay. Can you share some tips or advices to the students from non-circuit branches mainly? Or uh, like how uh, they should be ready uh, to get placed into a SD role? it can be in corporate or it can be any company so like any tips or advices to you have to give them like and uh, not in a corporate perspective but in a whole perspective to whoever wants to uh, become a software developer or related roles i would say uh, don't delay in your uh, preparation timeline okay don't delay your placement preparation start as early as you start that much benefit you can get uh, because a uh, if you start early you will get a lot of time to practice practice is something if you learn all the uh, all the stuff you have so i would take the subject names here uh, the basics basic concepts which a software developer is expected to know are data structures and algorithm which is called heart of software development and second thing is dbms object oriented programming sql uh, before all this you have to choose a programming language that's basic people generally choose either c++ or java i choose c++ c++ later i learned java learning one language will help you like learning other languages uh, in very few days it's not it's all about learning coding not a language so uh, i have to call the subjects in like dsa oops dbms these are the basic three subjects and sql queries which will be a sub branch of dbms i would say uh, and a programming language these are the very very basic concepts uh, which a recruiter will expect you uh, from someone who is looking to get hired as a software developer i would say don't stop with these or these subjects only don't limit yourself for these five subjects uh, which uh, that's why i am mentioning that it is a uh, basic okay later on try to explore some other fields like uh, some other concepts like operating system and computer networks and also explore machine learning side and see there is no, no there is no end for exploration right as uh, as you start very early you will get a lot of time to exp- uh, explore so explore if you find something interesting dig deep into it uh, go uh, kill like search all the resources get whatever you can from the internet or uh, seniors or professors or wh- wherever you can get sources can be anything just get the information which you want and go ahead okay later on track So it can be practice can be on any platform like lead core uh like yeah. forces code chef regarding the platforms i would suggest my, my fellow friends or my seniors or any uh, anyone i know they mostly used lead core code forces these are two major platforms which people use if you are beginner very beginner then use hacker i would hacker it or gfc core chef gfc yeah these are start with these things but make sure that you end up to code code for yeah. us or and my suggestion would be just fix what thing yeah after getting in uh, as a beginner you may step into different things but later on a stage just fix with some website i would say two because my uh, you may miss out few questions but fix for at least two websites or at least one and keep your streak going over okay consistent be consistent that's what you say yeah. begin thank you for sharing all these insights and suggestions uh, samir uh like you want to add anything else to uh, the audience yeah sure uh i would like to add ki uh, as you already know he always one thing is always try to reach out someone who ha- who is living your dream because uh you are not dreaming to become a software developer 
so, so becoming a software developer is your dream so person who is living currently in your dream is the person who is working at some mnc or as a software developer please try to reach out to them please try to get feedbacks from them uh, even even if you don't have a particular resume uh, try to create a resume and send to your seniors and ask review okay a resume is very important for someone who are not even a software developer on a whole perspective of a, a, a person who wants to get placed resume plays a very very important role please get as many feedbacks as you can for sharing the resume by sharing the resume to your seniors or friends or friends even don't underestimate uh, your junior also try to get as many feedbacks as as you can on your resume from anyone yeah yeah one thing is about resume second i would say yeah keep in touch with the, all the fellow mates and people who you think can help you in the future regarding this in daily life problem solving and that your skills it will help you in your daily life also they just brush up your mind and keep you fresh i would say the, those are the three things i would like to add and always uh, be grateful for someone who helped you during during your placement or hard times uh hi this time i would like to thank my friends and family for the support I, I don't want to take the names but there are few friends and seniors also who help me by providing the resources and support which are required for this role great great somewhere uh, really happy to hear all that okay so that's great i hope this will surely motivate the people who are watching this video so and also i hope the this video will be helpful for everyone who is uh, uh like trying to achieve uh, like or get a software developer role from a non secured uh, uh, like a uh, bad on so thank you so much samir once again for coming here and uh, spending your time So it's almost like one forty one a.m. in the night, and we are shooting this podcast. Yeah, so yeah, I'm really, going to really, really, really like it's going to be really hectic. Just it's just for all of you guys, and I'm planning to shoot few more tomorrow also. Let's see how it goes. Uh, but as of now, that's all for this video. If you find this is a time worthy video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and please do mention what is the best part of this video in the comment section, and let me know what all companies I have to. cover if possible i'll also cover that so that's how that's it for this video and uh, chalo then take care bye bye jai